Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Bros. 35. I am Bill from Good Old Days Gaming, and I'm once again talking to you from England via a weird headset microphone that I never used because um, I didn't bring my microphone with me. So if I sound a little bit tinny and crappy compared to usual, that's why. If I sound better, that's weird. And just goes to show that money doesn't buy happiness or quality. No, nah, but it does, though. Money buys everything. It's all about the money. No, I'm just kidding. It's not about anything. Three. Two, one, start the video now. And I do do that three, two, one countdown though. Uh, you know what? Let's target the, actually lowest time. Let's do lowest time. And here we go. Let's try to get first place. I came in second last time, man. So close. But yeah, England quarantine is now done. But all I did so far was go for a walk and it was raining the whole time. But I mean, that's typical English weather, as they say. I don't know, but it's okay. It is weird. 1-3, okay. Skipping ahead, and maybe I'm not going to do 1-2 at all this time. That'd be something, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm trying to... I still got a little bit of time here in England. Basically, I'm at the halfway mark at this point, as of recording this. And, uh... Yeah... I don't know my takeaway yet, because I've been quarantined this whole time. And aside from that walk in the rain, I don't really have much to go off of. But I can say this about England. The stereotype that the food is really bland and not very good is not true. I've enjoyed everything I've eaten this whole time. Crap! I didn't realize how low the time was. Okay, let's go. 1-3 sucks for the clock, dude. Makes me think of the Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Suck my kiss. What a weird lyric. I mean, we all know... Yeah. You know where that was going. Anywho. My takeaway from England, aside from that the food stereotype is a lie, at least from my experience so far, is that everything is rainy and brown. My girlfriend makes fun of me every time I say that. I'm like, yeah, everything is brown. So I noticed that. I landed in London, and then I went north. And, uh... Wait, have I been in 2-1? This might be a new stage. Not sure. But yeah, the whole part of London, I was on a bus, or a coach, as they call them here. Coach bus. And, uh... Yeah, no. That was nice. I don't remember this level at all. 2-1, I never go to World 2, I always warp to World 4. And then World 8 after that. But yeah, London was very brown. Like, every building is just this old brown brick or whatever it is. And I was like, man, if I ever lived here, I would not be able to know... What's what? Because I've even noticed even businesses, they seem like they just have like a little tiny plastic poster on the side to say what it is. But otherwise, it's the same brown building. Jeez. So that stereotype of everything being rainy and depressing here, I can definitely see that. But uh, I'm trying to make the most of it and understand that it's, you know, a very old country, so... But it is kind of interesting how commercial the U.S. is compared to here, at least where I am. I might be in a rural area. But I mean, like, I passed through London and I saw a little bit of some things. Oh, here we go, 1-2, we are here. I don't know, it's just like these weird brown, kind of sandstone-y, and a little bit of white mixed in. In some kind of lacy design or something. But there are a lot of green valleys too, which are uh, neat to look at. Took a few pictures on my walk, but uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. But yeah, probably today or tomorrow. Definitely the rest of my time here, I'm gonna try to do some sightseeing. Getting those coins up for the roulette! You gotta. I just learned that there's a five guys here. I didn't know England had five guys. I thought it was a US only thing. 
I have a... Oh! oh. I died in 1-2. What the heck? How many times did I replay that the last time? Level 21, eh? Oh man, 12th. I wasn't even paying attention to that, to be honest. Too busy talking about England. 2 2. I don't remember being in water. Whatever, let's do it again. Let's try to get first place. I want to at least get first place and record that. But I got I do got to focus on Tony Hawk. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly yet. Link's Awakening. I got to buy the game and then get on that. But I'm probably going to save all that for when I'm back. Did anybody else ever jump to that beat of the music when it's like doo 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 and then you jump boing for that part of the music? I usually do that, I didn't hear, but I haven't had fast food yet here, but I do know that the McDonald's in England uses far less in ingredients, basically no chemistry set as American McDonald's. So it'd be interesting to just see what it's like. Whoa, man, I thought that shell was gonna get me. 3-2. I always liked these nighttime stages with the snow-capped trees. Oh, I thought for a second this was one of those Star Rush stages, but maybe that didn't come to... Wait. Yeah, it is, kind of. Yeah, now we're, now we're doing all right. But I guess it's not. That would have been cool if that was a star, though. But I guess that didn't happen until Mario 3 is what I was going to say. If I didn't finish that sentence, I don't know. So how's everybody doing? I don't know what I'm doing exactly. But yeah, there are parts of the U.S. that I miss right now, I guess. It just seems a lot more spacious, and, uh... Like, in the United States, it's easy to tell what's what. Everything is so laid out and obvious. It has a huge sign, you know? The storefronts are all relatively unique, at least in terms of their lettering. Whereas compared to here, it's not very obvious at all. But I do like the architecture where all the buildings are on top of each other connected. And, uh, I don't know what that's called. Tudor? Tudor? Not Tudor, whatever. I'm dumb. Tudor? Oh no, the fish! Wait a minute, this might... This might be good. I still don't really know a good strategy for this, though, to be honest with you. Because whoever I'm sending all these fish to, they could easily just rack up their timer with it. Alright, that worked out pretty well. That said, though, the fish are definitely the most annoying enemy because they just come flying from the bottom of the screen. You could easily mess up your jumps. Like, that happened in the last video, didn't it? But yeah, my girlfriend's been working from home, so I've been trying to do what I can as far as these videos while that's going on. But, uh, she's off now, so... Combined with her time off, and me being here, now's the time. And the quarantine being over, too, that was the other thing. That was the whole reason why she was still working. So now that we're both free, we can go do stuff, and hopefully see less brown, same old stuff. So I don't know how I feel about it, really. It's nice, though. I mean, compared to Georgia in the U.S. Oh, look at this. Yeah. I don't know who that went to. An attacker. There is a more green here, though, than Georgia. At least where I'm situated. You know what's weird, though? My whole time here in England, what didn't happen, though, was... I had to fill out a form saying where I was going to be during my quarantine, and nobody looked at that paperwork. 
The only thing that happened to me when I landed in London was, uh... Some guy, he yelled at me to take my mask off as I was scanning my passport and everything. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about it, I was just standing there wondering why the camera wasn't picking up my face, and he's like, TAKE OFF YOUR MASK! It's like, jeez, dude, calm down. But he said it like five times, and like, it was only like the five or, the fifth or sixth time that I realized he was talking to me. That I actually paid attention to why he was yelling it more and more angry each time. I was like, oh, he's yelling at me! Because <laughs> there was other people getting their face scanned too, and he could have been yelling at them. I hate moments like that when you just get randomly embarrassed and realize you've just been looking like an idiot for 30 seconds to a minute or something stupid. Really just any amount of time. It just sucks being embarrassed. Plus I know the English hate Americans. So I hear. Maybe not fully, but... I mean, who doesn't hate Americans though? That's the thing. Hear about that all the time. But yeah, I'm curious about trying Five Guys here because in the States, Five Guys is, uh, they give you so many french fries, dude, and the Cajun ones are so good. I haven't been there in a while, I used to go with my dad a lot. 3 2, wait a minute. I was here. This is the Star Rush stage, or the one that I thought was. Oh wow, I'm already 7th standing here. I'm almost done. Well, actually, not almost done, because sometimes these last places could last forever. timer up there, because we know what happened last time when I came in second. I wonder... I wish there was a way to know how much time was left on my opponent's uh, timer there. Last time. Timer there. What the heck am I? Uh, that one comedian dude. Ooh, one just four. Okay. What the heck is that comedian that says there all the time? He was on Saturday Night Live. Uh, can't think of his name. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's why we have the roulette. No, it's... it's probably the worst case scenario, just being Big Mario and getting a mushroom. Crap! Oh, I forgot that block was there. Save me! Oh, that was a lot faster than the other one. Perfect. We're gonna get send Bowser to somebody. Six players left. Let's see if we can do this. 1-3. Oh, I hate this level. This is one of those stages, you know, that it's not too bad, but just its layout is quirky enough to mess you up if you're not fully paying attention. Which happened to me last video, I believe. I had some really good pasta. The other day. The night we made fajitas was really good too. And uh, we did finish Umbrella Academy. Remember the last video I was saying we were watching that on Netflix? I haven't looked up anything about season three, but I imagine that's coming next year regardless of what's going on in the world. It's an interesting series. I don't really watch Netflix stuff too much because I have no reason to. I'm always busy with this stuff and but it's like, as soon as you factor in you're spending time with somebody else, like, you had better have some kind of hobby that's gonna attract everybody, because the thing with video games is not everybody likes it. And even if they do play video games, they may not play the same ones as you. Like, my girlfriend is thinks Nintendo is kitty. She's in that camp, kinda. And is kind of more favoring Xbox and PlayStation. And especially, like, the older games she just has very little patience for, unless the nostalgia's there, you know? Oh, the fish again! Oh, Bowser! Oh, okay. Well, that 
wasn't really a problem at all, actually. Still six players, too. I imagine a lot of these guys who came in like 30th or whatever. Like, <laughs> dying on the first Goomba or something is embarrassing, you know? It does happen, even to the best players. You can still die on that first Goomba. I've done it before. Oh, here we go. Last five players. Five dash one. Is this new? I think it is. I don't think I've been here yet. Sweet. I like that, though, because that means this video is going to be at least slightly varied compared to the last one. Because that's the problem with recording this game, is it is going to be a lot of the same after a while. Because, I mean, how fast can you beat Mario Brothers? Oh, here we go. Yeah. If I were to just record the vanilla game, how fast could that be done? Even without warps, you know? But I still say this is pretty awesome of a concept. Yeah. 1-1, here we go again. Haven't seen any of World 8 yet. I kind of wonder how long you have to play until they start popping up. Because 8-3 is no joke, those constant hammer bros. The castle, 8-4, isn't too bad, I don't think. It's just knowing the maze. Which at the moment I don't know it, but as soon as I see it, I'll know where to go. It's one of those things, you know? Eight dash one can be a little tricky, I remember, and eight dash two can mess you up. We're back in three two now. Oh yeah, I do like these nighttime stages. I was playing Animal Crossing a little bit, but not recording it. Just trying to see some of the Halloween stuff that's going on, but I really don't know if I'm gonna record it. It's... Quite frankly, I... that game I find boring now. Fish flying from nowhere. Five players left still. Ah, oh, nuts! Why did I do that? I knew that thing broke. Ah, oh, well, well, there you go. That's probably a video. I really gotta win one, though. Fifth place. Crap, dude. Alright, well, thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time.